Well, let's take the power of negative training. What is negative training? Arthur Jones wrote an article for Iron Man magazine. He said, instead of looking for how much you can lift, if you were a bodybuilder or a weightlifter, you ought to be thinking about how much you can lower. And he came up with a concept of accentuate the negative, that there was real power behind lowering a heavy weight, lowering a machine that's heavier than you can lift. Angel Rodriguez, he lost 121 pounds of fat in 30 weeks. Took more than 20 inches off his waist and put on 20 pounds of muscle. Melissa Norman, she did the best of the women. Now men have an advantage where they're losing fat and building muscle are concerned because they have hormones that facilitate both. So women always lag behind men. Bob Smith weighed 302 pounds here, six foot seven. He's the biggest guy I've ever worked with height-wise. He lost 80 pounds of fat in the first 80 days. Unbelievable. Paula Golenbeck, she's a professor of language. She lost 31 pounds. Dana Cross, she did very well. Why does this negative training work? Why does the negative training on X-Force equipment out there work so well? I think it has to do with a deeper inroad. Arthur Jones used to say that when you do a repetition with a barbell or a Nautilus machine, you're making about a 2% inroad into your starting level of strength. If you could lift 100 pounds one time, you don't lift 100 pounds one time. You take 80 pounds and try to do it 10 if you're trying to get bigger and stronger. But what happens when you take 80 pounds and you do 10 repetitions? Each repetition, you are decreasing your starting level of strength by about two pounds. Let's call it 2%. So when you get down to number 10, you're just a shade stronger than 80 pounds. And it's tough. On your 11th repetition, you're 78 pounds strong. And 78 pounds won't lift 80 pounds on the machine or the barbell. So you fail. So you have made a little over a 20% inroad. But what if instead of lifting 80 pounds, what if you lowered 100 pounds? You lifted 80, you lowered 100. You'd make more of an inroad into that starting level of strength. You might make a three or a 4% inroad. So this is what I'm talking about. You're making <coughs> probably 30 to 50% deeper inroads into your starting level of strength. My theory is that this deeper inroad leads to a fundamental biological priority. Stimulated muscle grow, make it grow, and boy, all kinds of good things happen. What is the breakthrough? What is Ellington Darden's breakthrough? It's right there, negative routine, properly performed, makes a deeper inroad. In doing so, it triggers multiple hormones in higher amounts for greater than normal muscle gain and fat loss. Here's a group we put through in 2012 that were not interested in losing fat, but they were interested in building muscle. So we didn't put them on a reduced calorie diet, but we trained them hard. We only trained them once a week, one set, eight exercises on X-Force equipment only. Here's four of the people that did the best. Joe put on 17.4 pounds of muscle in six weeks. Can you see a difference there? How about Shane Poole? He was an ex-Army person. He did better than Joe. He put on 19 and a half pounds. Nicole, she put on almost eight pounds of muscle in six weeks. Truck, I put him on a two-week program to build his arms, and he already had 19-inch arms. <laughs> At the end of this program, in two weeks, he put on 12.7 pounds of muscle and got his arms up to 20 inches. That's a big arm, but you got to have unusual genetics to have arms that big. Warning. Now, we've talked about building muscle. We've talked about losing fat. This is something that most people who go through this X-Force program, they misunderstand. They think if you go through six weeks of X-Force, you need more exercise. Uh-uh. 
You need less exercise. It needs to be harder, briefer, and less frequent. So that's why I was saying earlier, one time a week, many times, is better than twice a week. And just about 100% of the time, two times a week is better than three times a week. If you want to exercise more than twice a week, you're probably not doing it correctly. If you like doing X-Force exercise, you're probably not doing it correctly. <laughs> <clears throat> because it is tough. Let's switch gears here. Besides negative training, what else can you do to get fast fat loss? Eight and a half hours sleep versus five and a half hours, which is what most adults get in the United States. Three extra hours burns 400 calories more of fat every night. 400 calories. Most of the fat you lose every 24 hours if you're on a diet and exercise program happens while you're sleeping. Understand that. And guess what? 99% of the muscle building every day occurs when you sleep. 99%. So you need eight and a half hours sleep, and if you can get a 30 minute nap during the afternoon, that's nine, that'll help you even more. So I've just finished a, a group of 41 women on a program called Tighten Your Tummy in Two Weeks, and every single woman was reinforced and patted on the back to not exercise more, exercise less, go take a nap. Don't be active, be less active. If you're on from 1,200 to 1,000 calories a day, you can't be very active. Don't try to be. Go home and sleep, go home and rest. That's the way you lose fat. David Domash, 41 pounds of fat loss. Erica Green, over 20 pounds. Herb Jones, Herb's wife went through the two week program and did very well. Candace Spencer, she did very well, 28 pounds of fat in 12 weeks. Look at the difference. Chris Baldwin, he did very well, 63 pounds of fat loss. Ashley Meisner, 23 pounds. Austin Dealey, 43. Christy Williams, 36. Julie McGinley, 22. Women in muscle, you know, there's still a lot of women. Like I say, I worked with 41 of them on the women's club this fall. But there's still a lot of women that are afraid that exercise, strength training, especially X-Force, is going to give them large muscles. And guess what? It will. But those large muscles won't look bad. They'll look better. They'll help your physique. The most muscle any woman gained was 15.91 pounds. The least was 3.17. We had six women out of 77. Each one gained over 10 pounds. The average was seven. I don't think any place in the country has ever produced results like that. But of these 77 women, there wasn't a single one that got too bulky or like the bodybuilders say, huge. <laughs> Not a single one. So the bottom line is women need bigger, stronger muscles more than men do because women have neglected building their muscles for so long. So remember this concept because both of these things are happening at the same time. You're building muscle to lose fat and you're losing fat to build muscle. Does that make sense? Angel Rodriguez, I threw this up here one more time because I've taken like 2,000 before and after pictures, and this guy's done the best. 121 pounds of fat loss. I mean, look at the difference. Tremendous before and after shots there. Here's my conclusion to you. Goes back to an old saying, and I think it was Earl Nightingale or Zig Ziglar that said this, life demands before it rewards. Now keep that in mind. I want you to focus on three words. Be, do, and have. You got to be before you can do, and you got to do before you can have. Now what I mean by be? You got to be grounded. Do the X-Force equipment, just like we 
just like it's in the book and just like they're going to tell you to do here. Soon you'll have the body you wanted. Be, do, and have. Remember that. Do it now. X-Force Body Fat Breakthrough. All of you in here can get the results you wanted, and you can do it faster than you've ever believed possible.